Uh, I can kick it off uh, real quick. Okay. So, Go Destiny, ahead. would you agree with me that uh, the motivation for demonizing the opposition political party often revolves around calling them traitors, uh, accusing them of treason, and pushing for um, you know some type of villainization that they are against the country, they are against you, they are against everybody? Uh, for another debate, maybe, but that's not at all any of the subject here, any of the subject matter here. Well, I think it is. I think it ties in because I believe that the motivation for why you're claiming that the other side are a bunch of insurrectionists, though you have no direct evidence of this and your own criteria is just that of basically a riot, that your motivation is just to demonize the opposition. Andrew Wilson from The Crucible takes on Destiny in this intense debate about January 6th during their appearance on the Fresh and Fit podcast. Destiny, who has often been critical of Donald Trump, shares his thoughts on what he believes was an attempted insurrection, while Andrew Wilson calmly and methodically counters his arguments. Wilson dismantles Destiny's points piece by piece, showcasing his typical debate style. Let's dive into the clip and see how Andrew Wilson approaches this heated topic. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Sure, but this isn't a debate over my motivation. I could be motivated by 100 million different bad faith factors, and literally none of them would be relevant to this conversation. It could yeah. be the fact that the DNC actually paid me money to give this precise argument, and Kamala is on the phone with me right now, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't have any impact on this particular debate. I think it would be. I think that the motivation for why you're making the argument itself would have an impact on the debate. But I am willing to concede that if you just want to keep it to the material, we can. Let's move over to point two then. Point two, you say resisting any law or interference with the course of a government proceeding wouldn't fit rioting itself. How does that not fit rioting itself? Of course it does. Well, let's say, for instance, the purpose of a riot was because you felt like the law wasn't being enforced. It wouldn't make sense to call that part of an insurrection. Let's say, for instance, that there I was a, <laughs> let's say that there was a lynching of a person and you felt like the cops weren't, you know, upholding their duty or whatever. And so you decided to have a, a protest that turns into a riot and you all show up with the goal of protesting and rioting because you felt like the law wasn't being carried out here. You wouldn't really call that an insurrection because they're not trying to contravene a legal process. Um, just because, again, you engage in unlawful conduct doesn't mean that you're trying to resist like the implementation of the carrying out, resisting the laws. That would be the same case with insurrection, then. You know, insurrection would, require, would also require say, intent, right? Yes, yeah, correct, yes. So the intent would be the contravening of the Electoral Count Act. When people say we need to march and make our voices heard on January 6th to the Capitol grounds where people are going to protest, they're protesting the execution of the Electoral Count Act, which demanded that Vice President Pence count the electoral votes. Donald Trump didn't want that. He made it very clear in the days preceding him, Bannon, Eastman, Chesbro, and everybody else that was working alongside him, um, Sidney Powell, everybody else, was saying that we need to prevent Pence from counting the electoral vote. That was the execution of a lawful government function. Yeah, but it's even if all, an act, and that's people going there to Yeah, but even events. if all that's true, Destiny, it wouldn't. It still wouldn't matter because the events of January sixth themselves, the intent of the people could have just been to riot, not indeed to commit to any sort of treasonous insurrection activity and you have failed to demonstrate this time and time again how this actually would meet the criteria of an insurrection them showing up and just like you're taking 2021 right when you say hey look the damage would have been way worse way worse if they had shown up with the purposes of actual insurrection or some type of uh, 1776 mindset this is the most armed nation on planet earth how in the world can you say these people showed up specifically in order to do that that makes no sense man none of this law uh, none of that argumentation was secretary people very quick they obviously showed up to protest the uh certification of the vote they were called there by donald trump if it's a non sequitur then you in 2021 were using a non sequitur when you made the argument that from the appearance of this it could not have been an insurrection if you enjoy this type of content please leave a comment and like the video it really helps me out a lot 2021 destiny was incorrect because 2021 destiny mm -hmm. didn't have the historical context to understand an insurrection. If you want to bring him on here and talk to him, you can. I, I am don't talking agree with him. everything You're that not, I said. Not You're you. not you. I am 2024 destiny. I have learned more things. I have done more studying. I've read more papers and I've <laughs> done more research on this. There is actually a strong understanding of what an insurrection is, and there was a strong historical understanding of what an insurrection is. And the idea that a bunch of people were called on January 6th, the date wasn't a mistake. When Donald Trump sent them down there to protest, when he said we need Mike Pence to do the right thing, what was he talking about? He wanted him to contravene the law, and that's what people marched down there no, for them to do. Donald yes. Trump. Donald Trump said 30 minutes before this began that this needed to remain a peaceful protest no, on Twitter. No, he didn't. He never said that. He did. I actually have no, the tweet. Didn't. Destiny comes off as very confident in his beliefs, but it's surprising that he seems unaware of Donald Trump's statement, where Trump clearly said to march peacefully and protest. Andrew Wilson pointed this out in the debate. 
yet destiny still didn't seem to acknowledge it. It's rare in history for an unarmed group peacefully protesting to be called an insurrection. When we think about it, how could a large group of unarmed people stage an insurrection? It hasn't happened before. Andrew Wilson calmly walks destiny through the facts. Despite all the accusations, there was no mass violence that day, except for one unarmed person being shot by a guard inside the Capitol. The other fatalities were due to natural causes. The story of that day has been retold in different ways, but a lot of the facts and evidence were kept away from the public, including video footage. Destiny seems to have missed that, too. At this point, it seems clear the narrative has shifted, and Destiny's argument doesn't hold up. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like the video. He, he, did, he did say that. In the speech, he, he said to fight like hell, and in the speech, he said that we need to go I'm down. I'm talking about his tweets. Why, why would a person, why would put, out, why a would a person put out a tweet to be peaceful if their intent was insurrection, Destiny? Why would a person call a protest on January 6th? What do you think they were protesting? What do you mean? They they call protest. People call protests all the time. That doesn't mean that the we're not talking of the about protest other protests. I'm asking you, what was, the what was the purpose of the seconds, protest on January seconds. 6th? The purpose of the protest was to go out and show support for Donald J. Trump. For what? Well, there, there was a variety of reasons. I think. No, that give me, me. Wait, wait. Are you telling me we can't? I'm going to give you a variety of reasons. You can't say no, no, no. Are you saying there wasn't a variety of reasons why people didn't show up? Nope. I think there was one clear reason. Oh, there was only one reason why everybody showed up. Ten seconds. Correct. Ten seconds. But, okay. What is the one clear reason? There was not a variety of reasons. Some people didn't show up just because they wanted to see what was happening. Some people didn't show up just to support the president. Some All people right, didn't show time. up because they really time. liked to go to protest. That's time. Everybody showed up for one reason, right? I Destiny? didn't say everybody. Everybody showed up for one reason. I said they were called so there for one quick, reason. Guys, that was to quick. protest the certification of the election. Yeah, guys, 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 that is time. Um, I'm happy to let this play out longer if you guys want uh, and add an extra minute to the clock. Uh, are you guys okay with that? Yeah, we can well, add an extra I'll minute. I'll add an extra minute to that. the clock. And we'll, this is ra still round one of the open discourse, uh, but just try to limit it to one minute and then we'll go into round two of it. Uh, and then uh, and we can go from there. And if we need more rounds, uh, at the five minute mark, we can absolutely do that. So I'll, I'll yeah, I ha so I have a problem with him ascribing motivation to all, right. all. He says one there's minute. one clear reason why everybody showed up. That's clearly not true. That doesn't even logically make sense. He could never demonstrate in a million years that there was only one clear reason why everybody showed up. That's a nonsensical argument, Destiny. That's not the argument that I'm making. If the if that the debate was, the was you made. if the the debate is whether or not January sixth is an insurrection, not did every single person on January sixth engage in the crime of insurrection, or did every single person on January sixth go with the intent to then commit an insurrection? Why did you say there was one clear reason? I why said that there was a up. clear reason why people were called seconds. there because there was Donald Trump called people there to protest not on January fifth and not on January seventh and not in a random part of D.C. and not in a random part of the country. He called them on January sixth to uh, to the uh, to the ellipses that was less than a mile walk away from the Capitol building, which is where he sent every single person after his speech. He called them there on the day of the certification of the that vote. That doesn't tell us their motivation. Trying to pressure Pence to overturn the election. That doesn't he tell us their motivation, that they need to go Destiny. on protest for the lawful slates of electors to be counted, the illegitimate ones that he submitted, and people went well, there. Even if I grant you logic, it makes behavior, no sense. And they managed to delay the certification of the Destiny, election, which is exactly what I... they Destiny just can't seem to let go of his belief that this was an insurrection. What do you think? Personally... I don't believe a large group of unarmed people could have forced Mike Pence to do anything or posed any real threat. How could an unarmed crowd get past a group of armed guards and make them do anything? None of that happened. In fact, there were reports of a police officer inside holding doors open for people. They weren't even resisting in some areas. Destiny seems stuck in this mindset, but he does make for interesting content. What did you think of Andrew Wilson's points during the debate with Destiny? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.